Hello, and welcome to the next in a series of videos discussing how to use the Linux operating system. These videos have been designed to assist you in learning the basics of how to use the Linux operating system. In this video, we will take a look at the two ways of searching files and directories in a Linux system. We will also examine how to search the contents of files and directories. The command grep, which comes from ed, which is an old Unix editor. Command grep, which stands for globally search a regular expression in print. This command has the same effect, doing a global search with the regular expression and printing all the matching lines. This is the command we will be using to search file contents. Find is a utility that searches one or more directory trees of a file system and locates files based on some selection criteria. This is the command we'll be using to look at file and directory names. To continue discussing these extremely useful commands, we need to discuss a few definitions. The first definition, character, is simply a letter, number, or symbol. This can be any printable symbol. Characters are typically joined in strings. Strings are groups of characters joined to make words. The examples listed, Gallifrey, Doctor, and Snowy Knight with a zero instead of an O are all strings. Strings are simply a contiguous group of characters. These strings are typically delineated with a space so they are similar to words. Regular expressions are a way of searching strings using text. There are a few different ways of denoting this. An asterisk, the star character on a keyboard, will match any number of characters or strings. The period character, will match exactly one character, and the question mark character will match either zero or one character of a string. Other than regular expressions, we can also search using just strings, a word within a file. Using the asterisk character, we can match any number of characters or strings. This is also known as a greedy match. A greedy match will match as much of a string as is possible. Noting the example in this slide, the string file asterisk will match all of the strings, file, file name, file1, file2, and file abxyslg. Another type of match, a single character match, will match one and only one character in a string. This is noted with a period character. For example, the string file will match the following strings, file1, file2. However, this expression will not match the following strings, file, file name, file abxyslg. An optional character match will match at most one character in a string. That is, it will match both zero or one character in a string. This is denoted by a question mark character. For example, the string file question mark will match the following strings. File, file one, file two. It will not match, however, file name or file axyslg. The grep command is a very simple command that makes two arguments. First, it looks for the string which will be matched in a file. This string can be a regular expression, so that you can search for many strings within a single file or multiple files. Secondly, the grep command contains the file or files within your current path to be searched. The command grep root forward slash etc forward slash pass wd will search for the string root in the file forward slash etc forward slash pass wd. Try this and you will see any line that includes the word root in the forward slash etc forward slash password. The other example command grep blah will search for the string blah in any file within your current directory context. In this file, you can see that the asterisk expands to be any file within your current working directory. This can be very useful to search for a single string in every file within a directory. The find command is another simple command that takes multiple arguments to search the paths for distinct criteria. The path argument accepts any path for the file system. The expression argument or arguments accept many different flags. Among the accepted flags are iname, which searches for a file or directory name without regard for case sensitivity, type, which determines what type of file for which to search, readable, which searches for files that are readable by the current user, empty, which searches for file or directories that are empty, writable, which searches for files or directories that are writable by the current user. These flags can also be chained to the benefit of the user. For example, to search for directories that contain the string test, 
that are accessible from our current working directory, we can use file period hyphen type d hyphen iname quotations asterisk test asterisk quotations. Period means search from the current path. The type in this case d means search only for directories and the iname of the test means to search for strings that contain the word test. The find command is extremely useful for finding files with a specific name, modification time, or other criteria. You can check available criteria by viewing the manual page for the find command. In this video, we have discussed how to view file names or content using the grep and find commands. You should now have a working knowledge of how to search the contents of files for specific strings using grep, use regular expressions to modify your search commands, specify the strings for which you are searching using regular expressions, and view specific paths containing specified search strings using the find command. In our next video, we will continue by looking at different ways of creating and modifying files and directories within the Linux operating system. As always, we recommend that you understand the material presented here before continuing with the next videos. It would be a good idea to practice the commands explained in this video before continuing. Thank you and see you next time.